Let's consider the problem A55B, Marvolo Guan's rank. In this problem, we're given n, p, q, and r, and we're also given an array of n integers. Our goal is to maximize a of i times p plus a of j times q plus a of k times r such that i less than or equal to j is less than or equal to k. The sample input is as shown. Let's first consider how we can maximize a of i times p. Now, if we just wanted to maximize a of i times p, we can look through every single value in the array a, multiply it by p, and take the maximum of all of those. However, that's not applicable to the bigger problem. So what we're going to do is use dynamic programming to maximize a of i times p. In order to do this, we're going to create an array of length n called dp. We're going to define every element x in this array to be the maximum value of a of i times p with i less than or equal to x. I'll explain this using an example. Let's look at the sample input. Here I just copied the array a here, wrote the indexes on the top, and created a spot for the array dp. Now the array dp has a length of n, which is 5 in this case, so there's 4 spots. Let's look at how we can calculate dp of 0. So dp of x in this case, for dp of 0, x equals 0. Now this is the maximum value of a of i times p with i less than or equal to x. And x is 0. So I'll put that in parentheses here. Now if i has to be less than or equal to x, and we need to be able to solve for a of i times p, which means that i must be a 0 or a positive number, because a of negative numbers doesn't exist. You cannot have an index of a negative number. So in this case, the only possible value of i is 0, which means that i has to be 0. Now, if dp of x is the maximum value of a of i times p, and i is 0, then dp of x equals a of 0 times p, which in this case is 1. Let's consider dp of 1. Here, x equals 1. We're trying to maximize a of i times p with i less than or equal to 1, because x is 1. If i has to be less than or equal to 1, then i could be 0, or i can be 1. Now if i is 0, the value of a of i times p is 1, and if i is 1, the value of a of i times p is 2, because a of 1 is 2 times p is 1, which gives us 2 dp of 1 is the maximum value of all these a of i times p, so the maximum of 1 and 2 is 2. Now let's consider dp of 2. x is now 2, which means that i could be 0, 1, or 2, because i must be less than or equal to x. We've already determined what a of i times p is for i equals 0 and i equals 1, so we now determine that for i equals 2, a of i times p is 3. dp of 2 is the maximum value of all a of i times p's, which the maximum of 1, 2, and 3 is 3. And we have now solved for dp of 2. dp of 3 is the maximum value of all a of i times p, with i less than or equal to 3. So i could be 0, 1, 2, or 3. We have determined a of i times p for i equals 0, 1, and 2. So now we need to determine a of i times p for i equals 3, which equals 4. The max of all these a of i times p is then 4. Finally, we have to determine dp of 4. dp of 4 is the max of all a of i times p with i less than or equal to 4. So i could be 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. We have determined the i a of i times p for uh, 0 through 3, and a of 4 times p is 5. So the maximum of all these a of i times p is 5. Now let's consider what this means. Let's look at dp of 1. What this means is if there were only two elements in the array, and the rest of the array didn't exist, so we only had two elements, 1 and 2 then the maximum value of a of i times p we get is 2, because that's what dp of 1 is. Similarly, dp of 3 
means if we only had four elements in the array and the rest of the array didn't exist, the maximum value of a of i times p for this smaller array is 4. Let's consider how to write a program that will create the dp array in o of n time. dp of x is the maximum value of a i times p with i less than or equal to x. This is the same thing as the max of the maximum value of a i times p with i less than or equal to x minus 1 and a i times p with i equals to x. This is true because since i is less than or equal to x, i is either less than or equal to x minus 1 or it is equal to x. The thing to notice is that the maximum value of a i times p with i less than or equal to x minus 1 is dp of x minus 1. And a i times p with i equals to x is a of x times p. This expression here is dp of x. We can expand this dp array to solve for the max of a of i times p plus a of j times q. And we can then expand that array to solve for the max of a of i times p plus a of j times q plus a of k times r, which is the answer to the problem. In order to do this, let's call this array dp0 value of dp1 of x equals the maximum value of a of i times p plus a of j times q such that i is less than or equal to j is less than or equal to x cases. If j is less than x then you get a of i times p plus a of j times q with i is less than or equal to j is less than or equal to x minus 1. If j equals x then you take and you get a of i times p plus a of j times q with i is less than or equal to j which equals x. A of i times p plus a of j times q with i less than or equal to j is less than or equal to x minus 1 is equivalent to dp of 1 of x minus 1. For the second part, let's split this into two separate terms, a of i times p and a of j times q. We know a of j times q because we know that j equals to x. Now for a of i times p, to get the maximum value of a of i times p, with i is less than or equal to j, which equals x. So with i is less than or equal to x. That is what this term here is. Now lucky for us, we know what this is. This is dp0 of x. And then we have to add in a of j times q. a of j times q is the same thing as a of x times q, because j equals x. Using this formula, we fill out the array for dp of 1 and get 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. We will create a final dp array, dp of 2, which stores the maximum value of a of i times p plus a of j times q plus a of k times r. Now in order to solve for dp of 1, we considered a of i times p and we added on to that. Now if we consider a of i times p plus a of j times q, the same way we considered a of i times p, then we can simply replace everywhere we put dp0 with dp1 when we create the array dp of 2. And this means that dp of 2 of x equals the max, and we're just going to replace dp1 with dp2, and we replace dp0 with dp1, And we replace Q with R. This is now our new value of dp2 of x. We can use this to fill in the table. dp2 of n, or n minus 1 in our case because we're using zero based indexing, is the maximum value of a of i times p plus a of j times q plus a of k times r with i less than or equal to j is less than or equal to k is less than or equal to n minus 1, or n in the normal case because we're using zero-based indexing. This phrase here happens to be the definition of our answer. Because of that, our answer is always dp of n minus 1, or n if you use one-based indexing. And as you can see, 30 is the answer of the sample input.